Welcome to a new video. In this video I'm going to show something uh, which you've seen before but in a different way. So I want to show uh, what are the tweaks which I keep on my phone all the time. Uh, what do I mean? So whenever I, I film a video for you to show you new tweaks and new interesting free or paid or whatever, usually majority of these tweaks gets, get uninstalled pretty quickly after after using them because I already have too many of them. I don't want to risk stability of my iPhone. However, there are certain tweaks which never leave my phone and they are the reason why I uh, jailbreak my device. I have 33 of them, so I'm going to show you uh, pretty quickly, but I just want to say that there are three things and there are three categories how I place these tweaks and these are the three main reasons why I do the jailbreaking. The first one is functionality. So some tweaks increase functionality of your phone. Some tweaks increase your productivity, everyday work. And some tweaks just make your phone look nicer, which is aesthetics. So we have three categories, functionality, productivity, and aesthetics. Let's go. I'm going to start with functionality. So these tweaks, I'm going to show 12 of them, which increase the functionality of your phone. The first thing I need with the phone I like listening to YouTube videos as podcasts. So I don't want to look at people talking. I have some talk shows which I like to listen and I have 30 minutes to go to work. So I just play them on my uh, YouTube and I let it flow in the, in the background of when I'm, when I'm driving. So you know the tweak, Sir Cute. Next thing I want to do from some apps, I want to download interesting videos like this. So it, I want to have this option, which by default in some apps you don't have. So this is DL Easy, for example. Next thing I want to do, I just want to be more have functionality of locking the phone like this, which is Fast LS. Also, I want to be able to have the functionality of uh, downloading anything from from Instagram, like with Instagram Plus or I just want to copy this uh, text so I don't have if I need something to do with it. So this is increased functionality by Instagram Plus. Additional functionality of Instagram Plus is enabling Instagram music anywhere you are, not just uh, if you are in certain countries. So I want to be able to use this, uh, this functionality, which is again with Instagram Plus. You see, it works. Additionally, listen to Instagram music enables you to listen to everyone who's posting something with music. I'm the heavy user of notes, so I need my notes organized in a certain way. That's why I install this week notes creation date, which gives me the date of not only when the note was modified, which is by default, but also when it was first created. It helps me a lot. I never understood why Apple doesn't allow functionality of recording the music while you do the screen recording of your phone. I don't know what's harm in that. So this is Record Music Plus. So I want to be able to do this. So it's gonna record and I will be able to listen to this music within the recording, right? Record Music Plus. So why not having this functionality already by default, Apple? This is the recording, right? Also, I use WhatsApp a lot and that's why I need WhatsApp plus plus software, which gives you a lot of customizations in your, in your WhatsApp app, stealth mode, disable read receipts, deliver the receipts, etc., etc. So this is additional functionality enabled for WhatsApp. Files is the file manager that gives extended functionality and access to your root system, of course, if you know what you're doing. So uh, you can copy the files, you can install the dev files like I did the other day with Alt Daemon, the new tweak. So you can do many things, again, if you know what you're doing, but you need to be careful not to mess something up. 
who doesn't need to clean their phone from the uh, files that you don't need, right? So you can do this with iCleaner Pro. You can you can download it for free, and you know you can just uh, reduce the junk that you have on your iPhones by simply click clicking clean, selecting th these things that you want to select, and you can, I don't know, uh, remove up to one, two, three gigabytes of unnecessary files. The next two tweaks deal with Cydia, and they give additional functionality to Cydia. One is tweak count, which shows me how many packages I have installed, which is very important for me, maybe not for you. And the other one is flame. The flame tweak gives me the option to export the tweak list, the sources list, so I, I don't forget what is my basic uh, list of sources and tweaks that I always have on my phone. You can uh, select both and then you can just send it via email to yourself. Now we move on to productivity tweaks. Now the next tweak is any key tra trackpad. I've shown it before. I need not to have only this right, to do it, I, I need to do it like swipe selection used to give me this option to uh, click on any uh, letter and I can move the cursor around. For productivity purposes, I need audio recorder. I need a tweak which gives me option to record some important phone calls, which gives me the, the option to uh, save them on my account and I can listen to them later so I know what to do later on. So this is like a must have tweak. Again, when typing, I need Barmoji. I need to be able to type faster and to have these, because I use emojis a lot, to have the emojis on the, uh, available to me all the time, which increases my productivity. The next thing I need, I need to have uh, copy log. Copy log is the tweak, which I've shown before, it saves up to uh, 60 snippets that you copied in the, in the past, so you can easily use them and reuse them in your notes or anywhere else. So this is amazing tweak. In productivity, I set different alarms during the day. So you know, if you want to edit it, you need to do this, then you need to go there, and then you to, you know change your alarm. Alarm, easy edit alarms. Just tap on it, and you do the same thing. You do the same thing. So this productivity tweak might be small, but it's pretty important to me. One that I really need is Gmail 13. Gmail 13 gives me the option to receive my Gmail on my uh, basic uh, mail, uh, mail app instantly without waiting, you know, because Gmail uh, doesn't work well on your default iOS email app. Instead, you need to install Gmail app, which I hate, and then you can receive your instant push notifications. With Gmail 13, I get my instant push notifications within default email app. The next thing I need is I want to be able to decline a phone call without, you know, when you receive a phone call, then you need to double tap on the side to, to reject the call with uh, let me decline. For example, if my, if my wife calls me, you know, I can get a phone call, but I get this decline button here. So I don't have to do this on the side. I just click decline and that's it. Another important tweak, which is very increases my productivity a little, it's quit all, which gives me this clear option to delete all the program, all the apps in the background. So when I click clear, okay, everything is gone. You see, there is nothing in the background. The following tweak is amazing. I already shown it. I don't want to be, you know, too much into it because I'm very, I'm too much enthusiastic about this tweak. Snapper two, when you do the screenshot of your screen. You know, you, 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 you do this and then you can just drag and you can take a screenshot of anything you want on the screen and you can use it in any app you want. You can, you can save it, you can save it in your, in your uh, photos, you can uh, save the text, so you can copy the text from these uh, cropped areas. You can do many things, you know, which increases my productivity like a lot. The next two tweaks are handling Cydia and increase my productivity when I work in Cydia and I work in Cydia a lot. Without having to, uh, you know, go inside of the tweak and then do modify and then reinstall or remove without all this uh, clicking, you just swipe left and you get these options right there, which is swipe, swipe for more. Then the next one, tweak compatible. When I, when I want to show you some tweaks, guys, I, I have this tick here this uh, green tick 
which shows me that certain tweak is compatible with the latest device. So I don't have to test all of them. I can first test these interesting ones with a yellow tick, which is tweak compatible. Next three tweaks uh, remove the ads from my Facebook uh, app, from my Twitter app, and from my Messenger app. So these three apps here do not have the ads, thanks to the first one for the Facebook, FB, S, P, N, O, S, O, R, uh, I guess no sponsored ads, whatever. Then the next week is Messenger, no ads. And the last one is Twitter, no ads. For Instagram, I already, I'm already using Instagram Plus, as I mentioned, which also removes this as a secondary, secondary option. Then we move to the final category, aesthetics. So the way it looks like. So for example, I like artist tweaks. Hey Siri, which, you know, Siri looks like this, which is pretty cool than covering all, all the screen. You can just swipe or do whatever you want and, and it disappears. Next one makes my keyboard look dark, which is dark keys. I, I can never, uh, I, I cannot live without dark keys anymore. Then we have the dawn key. The dawn key makes your, uh, makes your notifications look dark again. Which is kind of kind of cool. Then we have Dane. Dane uh, gives you this sort of notification, so it changes the look of your notifications, which I prefer to be honest to those who are default ones. This is how Dane looks like. So I can just scroll here and I can invoke these additional uh, functions. So this is pretty cool tweak and it looks looks amazing. Next one, all-time favorite, five icon dot, or I, actually it's five dot thirteen. It puts them to look like this. I cannot live without five dot thirteen. Then we have photon tweak, which I showed so many times, which gives me the always-on display. And I was always jealous on the uh, Android users when they had this option, but I could never have it properly. So with photon and this one. Don't use, doesn't use too much battery and it looks amazing and it's compatible with all these screen uh, lock screen tweaks which currently I'm using Speculum which is the last tweak I'm showing and again looks very neat and very straight to the fo uh, to the point so, so guys these are my these are my uh, 30 something tweaks which are by default on my phone and I cannot live without these tweaks so I highly recommend them and uh, if you want to go into more things and more settings of these tweaks, you can see my earlier videos if you prefer. Please ask me any questions, suggest on my Twitter account, on my Instagram account, my email. I'll be happy to answer every single question. Thank you.